the element of design are the fundamental parts used to compose any work of design so that one can create a perfect design. There are seven elements of design which are Line A continuous mark made on a surface by a moving point Shape An enclosed object and limited to two dimensions Space A distance or area between, around or within an object Value Refer to the lightness or darkness of an artwork Form Refer to 3D object that having depth, width and length Texture Refer to the feel of an object or surface Plus but not least, color More than any elements, color can have an immediate and powerful impact on us Color is also the most complex and challenging element to work with Therefore, to make it easier, we use color theory which color are organized on a color wheel and grouped into three categories Primary, Secondary and Tertiary on next part, we will show how the color will look alike. Primary color consists of three colors which are red, yellow, and blue. This three color considered as primary color because it can be mixed to create other colors but you can't make the primary color by mixing any other color. Secondary color is a mixture of two neighboring color. As example, mixing of red and yellow will make orange. Mixing red and blue will make purple. Last but not least, mixing yellow and blue will make green. Next, Tertiary color is a mixing of one primary color and one secondary color. As example, when mixing yellow and green color, it will become yellow green color or known as shanter. Mixing yellow and orange, it will become yellow orange color or known as amber. Mixing red and purple make red purple color or known as magenta. Mixing blue and green color make blue green color or known as teal. Mixing blue and purple make blue purple color or known as violet. By mixing red and orange color, making red orange color or known as vermilion. Tada! Your final color wheel will look like this. This element of design color is very important for branding, marketing, and also sales. With this basic knowledge about color theory, you are prepared to make effective branding decisions so that you will not end up choosing a very bad logo that will affect your end product. See you next time!